my name is Ethan McGee. Hello, my name is Vaughan and I'm Ethan's mum. I suffered from a brain tumour in 2020. The phone call itself just sent me into a tailspin. Basically, I had like a seizure and I didn't realise I was out driving my child and I got all numb down one side. Spent a lot of time in Letterkenny Hospital over it. She was in hospital for two and a half weeks and nobody was able to go to see her. So for the people who loved her and for at home, it was an awful time of anxiety, fear. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if she was going to recover, which she not. And I got my private MRA and realised that something was something was bad. Fortunately, then Eva lost her speech and her memory, and had an awful lot of difficulties. They got me down to Beaumont where I had my surgery. The surgery went very well, thank God. And the consultant, Mr. McNally, contacted us straight afterwards. I had to go to rehab, you know, as well, and let her come in. And after that. I had my radiation came first, which was six weeks down in St. Luke's, which brought me away from my daughter a lot, which was very hard. She had a wee girl, and she was only a year and a half at the time, so we had to look after Freya. Uh, it was all very, you know, shocking. Her whole recovery has been due to her good positive attitude and the love uh, she received from family and friends. But being here today is, it's, everybody's going through it, everybody has their own story, and that's mine. Well, back when the first reading really was on in 2012, um, a neighbour of mine, Bernie Gallagher, asked me would I be available to come just to support it. I wasn't very aware, really, and she explained all about it, and I looked and I was able to be here, and Magella came, um, mm -hmm. and we just lent our support. I wrote a song with Mark Roberts that they use as their signature song, and um, then when that was 12, and then in 2013, Jenna was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Take on from there. Yep, so, you know, from being an event that we attended, you know, for everybody else, if you like, I became one of the people that look at cancer, and there are so many out there. So we have tried to come. Daniel is now patron um, of Relay for Life in Donegal, so we try and support it as much as we can, you know, every year. I'm excellent behind the bar for the jukebox. So there's been no relay for life for a few years now, and um, so how do you think about finally being back out? Yeah, obviously because of COVID there hasn't been a relay, but I think there was a virtual relay, but not the big event that they have here. And you kind of, you'd miss coming to it because, as Daniel said, you know, it's a very positive um, event where everybody comes together. There's great camaraderie and great spirit, great atmosphere. So it's wonderful to have it back. And obviously, um, you know, it's more, more needed funds that uh, the cancer research and that needs. So, yeah, delighted to see it back. Yeah, and I think too, you know, from, from the, the fact of COVID being with us for the last few years, I think these gatherings give us that feeling of positivity that we're stepping away from COVID to, you know, that we're able to gather and we feel, you know, that we're safer now than we were uh, last year and the year before. So from that point of view too, it's, it's a positive step. The day times for what I've got to do. And the night times the time I'll spend with you. Our first word is hope.
H-O-P-E. The letter H is read by Team Garley and held by Team Drum Team United Football Club. H is for hope. Everyone with cancer and those who surround them must have hope. We must embrace it as we awaken to a new day. We must hold tight to it as we dream in the night and we must place it deep within our hearts and know that it is hope that gives us strength when we all seem lost. My name is Bridie Boyce and I'm a survivor along with my husband who is also a survivor. And I had breast cancer in 2012. And my husband has cancer for the last 20 years. And we like to support this event every year. This is our It's Time Now supporting it. And all the research and all the funds that's going into research, they're having cures all the time, they're progressing. So we like to remember friends past and gone and family past and gone. And hopefully we'll continue to find a cure and find ways through this cancer. Hi, I'm Sharon Geasley and I'm a cancer survivor and I'm also a night nurse for the Cancer Society. So I relay because I know the good that the relay can do for people who have had cancer and who are going through treatments and even for the families afterwards. Hi, and my name is Ina and I'm actually on the relay committee and I'm also a cancer survivor. And I relay because I can and I relay for all those who cannot and who are no longer with us. My name is Celine Farn and I relay in memory of my dear friend, Rosemary Doherty. They had a team here for, whenever she was sick and it meant so much to her that we had to come and see what it was and it's amazing. So that's why I relay. My name is Agnes Doherty. I am team captain of Prancers Against Cancer. I relay in memory of my mommy who helped me start our team six years ago and we just love coming every year. It's like a big family and we're just glad to be part of it. My name is Tracy McBride and I relay to remember those that we have lost in our family to cancer and also to support the hope that really brings in um, supporting um, research. My name is Eilish Nicholas and the reason why I really is we are very thankful that her mum has survived cancer and that she is still with us and enjoy every day that we have with her. My name's Grace. And you're really in for Granny. And then we walk in for Granny. Because Granny is? Because Granny is the best Granny in the world. My name's Joshua and I'm walking to see Granny had cancer. Okay, so our, our name is Team Convoy Cowboys. And well, we're really in this year in memory of my brother, Danny, Yvonne, behind me, his husband. And 10 years ago, Danny um, told us all that we were going to relay. And that's really why we relay in memory of him. He was very, very passionate and motivated to do with relay. It was a big thing for him. And we always had good crack. So there's great memories here. And we're doing it just in his spirit, really. And uh, I relay because of my to her and she bullied me into it. And uh, it'd be wild crack. And he's really a cowboy. Well, I'm, well, I'm an authentic cowboy, so I, they had to bring a cowboy along, said so it was convoy cowboy. So. And that was the kind of thing about Danny. He wasn't really a cowboy because he didn't really ride horses, but he always said he had an iron horse, a motorbike. And, but the convoy cowboy thing was because of her father. and. Yeah. So family, I suppose. Yeah, family, family would be we're doing it for family. Family, so. yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, it, 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 too many people touched by cancer as well. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, it's, it's important. So as Daniel O'Donnell says, this this is important. And uh, uh, these are balloons. Balloons are for fit. He's a backing singer. So he's going now. <laughs> Our turn.